All right, we are live and recording. Welcome to the Team Carter Family Podcast Adventures Podcast. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, this is one that we had to experience the joy of discipline and make ourselves do this one this evening. This is number twenty. Uh, I can't believe we've actually done twenty of these. That's so twenty. And we had it figured out, we had it calculated based on the first 10 or 15 that we did, that we had to do so many, uh, we had to do uh, like 25, 26 podcasts to get the number of listeners that we need. And our, our goal is to is to get enough listeners to where we can start reading ads. Full disclosure, we are at 31 as of tonight. Do you want to be the next like 19-ish people? Well, if you're listening, you're already. So oh, if you okay. share it, <laughs> okay. no, it if you share it, then you can be the part, of the other part of the 19 or so. Um, I'm not sure if that means regular listeners. I'm not 100% sure what that stat means. Because I know more than 31 people listen to this. But because we get more listens or downloads than that define unique listeners what does that even mean unique new york if unique new york if you think you're unique raise your hand i don't know but either way we get about 2.4 2.3 um quote unquote unique listeners per podcast that we put out so we got to do so many to get to 50 which when, which is when we can start reading ads um, so anyway, anyway, if you're joining us for the first time or for the twentieth time, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. We're your host. I'm Jen. I'm David. We are so, so incredibly honored that you would um, take time out of your busy schedule to listen to us ramble on about the silliness that we ramble on about. <laughs> Jen is right now. Uh, there's no video. Maybe we'll get video on these one day. But, but right now, Jen is wearing a shirt. Oh, are you describing my shirt? Okay. From the Kennedy Space Center. Mm-hmm. Um, we took the kids there a couple of years ago to, to see the... see. It's an active spaceport, by the way. It's very cool. Anyway, anyway her shirt, it's a, it's a mathematical equation. It's a math joke. And it says... Capital B. Capital B. Greater than uh, greater sign. Greater than 1 over N... Sigma with n over it, i equals 1, times x to the nth power. B, I'll read one more time, capital B. Write this down. Greater than, so the little symbol little is greater eating, than symbol. The symbol is eating B. Capital B greater than 1 over n multiplied by, multiplied by, sigma, there's an N over the sigma. I wish I knew what that notation was called. There's an N above the sigma. Wish I actually say this in math. And then I equals one is below this is below the sigma, multiplied by x to the nth power. What do you get? Somebody write it below in the comments. What did you get? There's, are there comments on this one? Well, no. I don't know. If you're listening to YouTube, write it in the comments. So you know what's wild about this is we get a lot more listeners on YouTube than we do on. Really Spotify else. and Anchor and Apple <laughs> and else. whatever else you're listening But whatever. To. People are listening. So I guess if you're listening on those other types of podcasts and there is no comment section, but you'd like to comment, send us an email at... TeamCarterFamilyAdventures.com. So that's uh, so TeamCarterFamilyAdventures at gmail.com. Yes. TeamCarterFamilyAdventures, all one word, at gmail.com. TeamCarterFamilyAdventures. Or you can send smoke signals because we do like to camp. Or you can send carrier pigeons. Send carrier pigeons. That would be fun. Um, so I have discovered recently AliExpress. Okay. Please explain what that is because I didn't know what it was so until today. You may have heard of Alibaba. It's, I would, in, in layman's terms, it's the Chinese equivalent of Amazon. Alibaba Jack Ma is the founder, you know, uh, chari- charismatic Chinese billionaire. Um, Wasn't Alibaba's the amazing um, Middle Eastern Mediterranean grill on Daniel Island that we love to go to that had amazing... No, that was... um, That wasn't Alibaba's? No, that was... (laughs) Maybe that was Alibaba's. What was that? I think it's Alibaba's. I don't know, but... On Daniel Island. Check them out. They're great. Alibaba is like the Chinese eBay slash Amazon put together. 
Um, and AliExpress is Alibaba's version of Amazon Prime. It's an app you download. Uh, you can get things. It's it's kind of ridiculous uh, how cheap things are. Now you gotta pay attention to what you're buying. You got and then the the shipping times can be pretty incredible because a lot of it comes from China. Surprise! But things are I know right. But things are legitimately drastically cheaper. Um, you know, a set of, of of socket wrenches for ten cents, right? Um, now, some of that could be the fact that I just joined it and they're trying to entice me to actually buy something. I don't really know, man. Um, but uh, I do know that ninety percent of the stuff on Amazon is on AliExpress. So if you some forethought, some planning, if you're okay with waiting a little while, there's money to be had to be saved. What's waiting? Define like. What does that mean? Are Good we talking question. about because Amazon Prime, you can get it in one to two days? Yeah, so it's... it's so what does this mean, waiting? Good question. Slash, you might be thinking, is this a scam? How would you know if it's... How legit is this? <laughs> um, okay, maybe I should say, I how legit is this if you're purchasing these products and you're in America or say you're not in China? Because you said it's Amazon for China. Well, it's it's just the Chinese version of Amazon. Oh, okay. I'm sure they would probably okay. ship all over the world. Um, so let's see. I, I was looking at buying something, and uh, a, a pretty powerful ham radio, and it was saying um, if I ordered it today, the estimated delivery is on August eighth. Okay. August eighth. For now, like an amateur is, radio. And it's currently radio. June seventh. Okay. So it's June. July is two months. Solid two months. <laughs> so. Can you cancel said items after you've ordered and you change your mind in like two months worth of time? That's, that's a good question. I feel like I feel like Dave Ramsey uh, would really appreciate that. Like, do you really need this item? You have two months to consider it. You have two it months to consider it. And think about it if you really need this item. They have a they have an oscilloscope for eighty six dollars. What is that? It's it's a way to evaluate um, electric sine waves, electric yeah. signals. A way to evaluate signals. This is how they made the original vi video games was by messing with um, oscilloscopes. It can help you measure power supply, noise, or weak signals. Okay. Um, multi core repair, home punch repair, power supply, sound f inverter, and some of the English translations are amazing. Um, <laughs> okay. And so the way it works, so if I want to buy this ham radio, it's like 160 bucks. We haven't bought so anything like yet, so we don't really know how how it would work or turn out. We'll do a part two in two months. If I we guess. buy something <laughs> <laughs> and it takes um, two to three months to get here, we'll let you know how that worked out. I'm gonna look up something similar here. Or you could just support um, an American business and go out and buy it in America. On the. On I feel like I also have to say that. <laughs> up something on the Amazon here okay oh yeah do like a price comparison okay so David is gonna basically play Russian roulette and pick a random item on Amazon go look at like um, all right 100 watt ham radio we're going right. with the ham radio I was thinking go with something else like um what does it matter I don't know just some random item what's a random item that somebody has in their house that's not a ham radio but like something that everybody has <laughs> That you would want to know. Something that somebody buys on Amazon Essentials. 40-inch TV. Okay, this is a good one. 40-inch TV on Amazon. What's the price? 40-inch TV. What's like the cheapest one? This is not in my Essentials cart or anything. Uh, 188 it looks like. Let me see if I can get the cheaper sort by. Sort by, sort by, sort by. Load high. Forty-two inch. Oh, that's not a TV. Twenty-four inch. <laughs> I was thinking like a, a griddle. Yeah, one eighty-eight. One eighty-eight on Amazon. What okay. is it on AliExpress? By the way, before I make this comparison, a hundred watt radio on Amazon six hundred dollars. Hundred watt radio on AliExpress two hundred dollars. Oh. All right. So, on Amazon. The catch being, you get it three months later. Um, okay. On Amazon, the TV was one eighty-eight. Okay. TV. Side note, we're not sponsored by either of these people. We're just 
materially <laughs> testing. We are testing Amazon. a theory that you know, an idea of a theory that a friend gave That's David. So, so I'd never heard of this before today. So never knew it existed. Apparently, it's been around for years. So AliExpress, yeah, it's been around for a while. Now I went cheapest, and of course, you're showing me things for seven cents. So seven to... cents. Can you name a one cent item on AliExpress? Start name like ten things that are you can get for a penny. I'm not finding a cheaper TV, by the way. But but items um, you can so get on right AliExpress. Now, at this exact moment on AliExpress, you can buy a set of twelve ratcheting torque wrench torque wrenches, six millimeter, twenty four meter. Obviously, that's um, metric. For one cent right now. One penny. Right now. Lynn Abe Lincoln. One single penny. You can also get six LED solar wall lamp outdoor waterproof up and down luminescent lights. That's something that go on the fence for one cent. You get six of those. Wow. I would actually buy that, but our seriously. But our kids would destroy them. Tear them off the wall. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Funny how that works. What else? What else can you get for a penny? I can get organic tags, solutions, serum, painless mole remover for one cent. Right. I can get, okay, here's something. Um, an LED strip, one meter, 30 RGB, Bluetooth app controlled, um, you can get a strip of LEDs for one cent. Well, how long? Is one, one, one meter? I can't tell how long that is. I can get polarized men's sunglasses for one cent. A solar panel for one cents. So you can get a solar panel, two watt, five volt, four hundred milliamp solar panel, two watt. So one cents. This is it's one cents. I'm gonna buy this. Are you serious? Oh, he got roped into the deals. They got with the, the good, good deals. deals. Now here's the thing: it's not waterproof, and when you click on it, there's a little video of it. Should I not get it if it's not waterproof? What brand is this? What is the name of this? Is? So okay, much. look up really fast. Look up a Nest Cam because you can buy those for like ninety nine dollars. Okay. Um, at your local home improvement store. So like, let's just price compare things like that, like electronics, Nest, Nest or like a Ring, a Ring. Um, I think it was a Ring, a video camera for like ninety nine bucks or something. Um, what could you buy? Could you? What is it on this thing? I don't see the Nest brand. They have similar things for similar things, but off brands. Twenty right? to for twenty to forty bucks. Really? Yeah. That you'll get in three months. You get in three months. Huh? How would you know if something's a scam or not? That's a good question, my love. <laughs> How would you know? That's a good question. Well, for twenty bucks, I mean, you look at some of the reviews. You make you double check the pictures. You check. Triple check the descriptions. Um, if we end up doing this, we'll let you know. I feel like I got to order something. We'll right. do it. We we'll do an unboxing. I'm gonna order something video. right now. I'm gonna okay. order something right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something that's a scent. Oh, okay. Just test it out. Uh, luminous glowstones. Oh, Ooh, that sounds fun. Take those camping or something. Uh, or Literally something carry around a bag of rocks that glow in the dark. USB foldable. Solar panel portable, five volt. I can get an automatic vacuum cleaner robot for one cent. No, you cannot. No, I'm you telling you. No, you cannot. I'm telling you. Uh, let's see. Thanks, David. Now all my um, social media like ads that are all listening to this are all gonna um, pop up with you know buy one cent Christmas lights or one cent toaster ovens or one this product cent. is a solar panel environmental protection energy saving portability easy to DIY it can be used in solar courtyard lamp lighting small so let's see here's the thing I want it to actually I want it to have a USB on it so that I can actually do something with it that's the thing you gotta be careful with this stuff 5 milliamp That comes with a USB. Are you talking about like the under cabinet lighting that we were talking about getting under the cabinets? No. With those rope lights or no. whatever it was. 
Well, it's actually not a terrible idea. But you, uh, you got to have a power source with it. Oh. Uh, All right, I'm going to get this thing. Let's see. What? Are, okay. He is buying, ladies and gentlemen, what is he buying? I am buying from... It ships from China to the U.S. via AliExpress Selection Super Economy Global. Thirty. It's, f- it's free shipping, by the way. Thirty to fifty days. For one a one cent item. This is the first solar panel I've ever bought. This is my first venture <laughs> okay. into the world of solar power. Wow! Congratulations. address in here. This is this is a, in real time. Community Street. Rock Hill, South Carolina. Alright, so awesome. there's default. Just go ahead and say all of our say, public information on the podcast. Listen. <laughs> Did I say our address? Yeah. You forgot our PIN number. They want to know that too. <laughs> Well, I've said too much already. I've said too much. I, so okay, okay, okay. The true story comes out. You want to? You know how much it actually costs? Yeah. Twenty-seven cents. As opposed to one cent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. And then the shipping is one sixty-eight. There's forty-nine cent tax. There all for we a go. unbelievable total. Unbelievable. This is this is highway robbery of two dollars and forty-four cents. Okay. Well, let's think about this. If you buy like. A five hundred dollar item on there, is it really going to be a thousand dollars? I mean, with with shipping, some of them do have free shipping. Okay. And he bought. What did you buy again? Hang on. I haven't, I haven't bought it yet. Haven't bought it yet. Let me get. Awesome! Now they all have our information. Fantastic. Listen, they already had it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Great. Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! See. One more step. Almost there. Payment successful. For a grand total of. Check my order. Grand total. Two dollars and forty-four cents. Wow. Four A. What did you buy? Five volt, four hundred milliamp, two watt, solar panel. Okay. How big is that? What's, this, what's the dimensions on that? It's not much bigger than or not much bigger than the phone. Okay. Is this like one of those things to charge your phone? Yeah. Oh, okay. See, I couldn't see the video when he was looking at the promotional video that, mm-hmm. that pops up when you... Okay. We'll let you know how that goes. So here's a... In three months, we'll come back and tell you how it is. Here's another, just as a comparison, there's a Blue Eddy EB70. Blue Eddy, we're not sponsored by Blue Eddy, although we'd love to be. Blue Eddy is a, um, basically a backup battery. And uh, they they are, I don't know if they're made necessarily to, to connect to solar panels, but that's kind of the idea is that it's a backup power system. You hook up three or four, you know, good size solar panels to one of the Blue Eddy big batteries. And here's one for, it's a Blue Eddy EB70 for 700, with 700, with, with blah, 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 700 watts of power. The equivalent of a 700 watt generator, which is not a huge generator, but also also keep in mind it's electric. Boogie woogie woogie. Um, Blue Eddy EB. Let's see how much these are. Now. Oh, okay. So what was it on Amazon or whatever? On AliExpress, it was five hundred and seventy nine dollars. Okay. Let's see, shop Blue Eddy on Amazon. It is. It's actually well. Here we go. Here's uh, okay. So on on AliExpress is five seventy nine. It's supposed to be free shipping. On Amazon, you can get it right now for five ninety nine. So cheaper. Hmm. There you go. What? It's the exact same. No, it, it, it's wow. It's a picture of the exact same thing. Anyway. And I'm also gonna challenge you. If you're listening out there and you're just thinking, I gotta snatch up all the. One cent deals, which are actually two dollars and forty eight cent deals. Um, I'm just gonna challenge you, like, to just think before you buy things and just lose your mind and say, "Do I really need this item?" Maybe think about it for like, sleep on it, 
sleep on it. Just... Let me sleep on it. <laughs> and then if you uh, if you still need that item, then you can buy it. Yep. Just trying to promote a little self control there. I did not sleep on it. No, he did not. But now we've tested it out, and we can say that we're going to try it out. So we'll update you in August. Yep. When we get that, won't be our final podcast. This won't be... <laughs> you don't have to wait until August to get the next podcast. Yeah. But um. We'll revisit that topic. We in will August. revisit that topic. So, um, just been thinking about a couple of things this week. This is our first podcast this week, which I do two a week. Um, this is the first one. It's currently Tuesday. Um, but think about a couple of things. Um, I really hope auto translate translates the subtitles automatically, so it's way less. <laughs> so it's way less of a. Um, I don't even know the word for it right now. I'm sorry. I'm like I'm liking words right now. Hey, um, you know what? Yeah. So, for whatever reason, our last podcast didn't upload with. Sometimes it automatically. I don't know if you know this, but if you're editing a video, um, on YouTube, sometimes you can click the auto translate button and it will automatically translate. I guess based on Google or whatever. Um, all the words that are being said and translate it into your closed captioning. Well, you can go edit that, and normally it takes me just like a day, you know, a couple hours worth of editing that because especially my voice is a bit softer, and so it doesn't translate the things that I'm saying or like if the kids are like yelling in the background or something or if there's background noise, sometimes it doesn't catch all the exact words correctly, and so I go through and I'm like the grammar police, and I'm like trying to, you know, make sure it's all right, make sure it's all correct. Um, but then for whatever reason, it didn't, it didn't let me do automatic translate last time. And David knows because he got really annoyed with me. It took me like four days of like I typed in every single word. I went back to the 45 minute podcast or whatever it was, and I listened to every single word, and I manually typed it in, and it took a very long time. And um, we decided that for my sanity and for everyone else's sanity in the house, that I do not have time for that anymore. So I will not be doing that again. So um, if it if it updates automatically, fingers crossed, and it doesn't, you know, and I can get it done in like a you know two hour break or whatever. I will do it, and I'm happy to do closed captioning for our listeners, but um, I don't know. I can't do the 45-minute ones anymore. We'll have to start making them shorter if it just keeps cutting out closed captioning because that, um, that was very difficult. For all of us. For all of us. <laughs> Everyone suffered, especially David. Um, apparently there's a hands-on science museum 45 minutes north. Of Myrtle Beach. What's 45 minutes north of Myrtle Beach? You know, a little, a little river? Um, maybe. Free what Hands On Eco Museum. It's in North Carolina. Really? Let's see. Whiteville, North Carolina. Okay. North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences in Whiteville. Huh. I'm going to have to North add Carolina it. Add it to our list. Hang on. Let me look that up. Let me throw a Google on it. You know, I just, we're going to have to start visiting North Carolina Museum museums because, sciences. because I saw an ad today for Tiger World. You can go read, um, thanks to Neva Steele and Steele Family, um, that you can <clears throat> go to Tiger World in North Carolina, which is like only an hour from us, I think, hour and a half, something like that. And um, you can go read summer reading books to tigers and bears and lions and they will give you like free ice cream true yeah that's true but well, you can read books to bears and tigers yeah like you why pay, have we not done this yet because you pay to go to tiger world and then you take i, I just found out about this today because her family good lord Jandis. It, and it sounds amazing so i'm gonna write that down <laughs> so we need to go to raleigh there's north carolina museum of natural history you there's raleigh cool. there's one in durham too i wrote it mm-hmm. down there's like a um did Durham have that I wrote down that I was excited about? Um, Let's see what kind of emails I express them here. Here we go. There is a Museum of Life and Science in Durham. Sounds pretty cool. Um, so yeah, writing down all these ideas. Cool. We're going to have to check out some more North Carolina then for sure. Speaking of North Carolina, my mom sent me a video 
of um, uh, our family has a mountain cabin in Maggie Valley for that we've had for years thanks to my grandparents and um, my dad and my uncle and they, they built it when I was a kid and so they've had it and um, they put up uh, security cameras because they're only there for like half the year and um, my mom sent me video from the security footage that there was a mama bear and three bear cubs hanging out on the porch like they own the joint. Wow. And that was, um, I don't know, it was cool, but then it was also scary because it was right, like, on the, um, on the bottom porch where there's, like, a, a swing and, like, um, chairs and stuff that we're sit, we sit in while we're grilling out. And, um, I don't know, it was a little scary because I was like, well, thank God no one's sitting on the swing at that moment in time because they just kind of like stumble off the mountain into the picture and just hang out on the porch and um talked to her today and she said they came back so apparently they now in the mountain cabin <laughs> i wonder if they'd go away if like probably if we went up there tomorrow you know like probably. if they would just tomorrow peace out they probably would um they're really adorable, and then you realize they could also rip my face off. The mama could for sure. Yeah, it would be, it would not be good to run across her in the woods. So yeah, been thinking through a few things. Um, Jen's taking some notes over here. I'm taking some notes of that. What was that museum in? Um, what what town was that? White, Whiteville. Whiteville. There's a natural history museum. In Whiteville, North Carolina. Basically on the coast. We need to do like a North Carolina coast. We, we haven't done the Outer Banks yet. We need to do that. Wilmington, we haven't done it. People talk about like, yeah, the North Carolina coast, like it's amazing. And I'm like, yeah, it sounds amazing, but. Never heard of her. Never heard of it. No, but we always just go to, um, we always just go to Charleston because that's where my parents live, so. Those are our beaches. But yeah. we're not against trying something new. No, we're not against trying something new. So we're um, pondering a couple of future podcast episodes. And one of the ones that we really want to get is... I um, want to get either... I don't know if my mom would do it, but preferably both my mom and dad. That would be amazing. Um, I don't know if my mom would actually do it. It would be, it would be interesting to get her to actually... But my dad would be... I think, I don't know, he might refuse to, I don't know, but that would be pretty cool. Um, my dad was a Baptist pastor my whole life, so you can imagine he he, he tells a good story. Um, just from, just stories of us growing up, story of his stories when he was little. Um, might have to do one or two episodes with him. Yeah, just to, I think you're gonna have to share that with him because I think he would have a really good perspective. Like, there's your perspective as as the kid, and then his perspective as as the parent. Part as two the parent things. is probably really funny. But so that's one. I'm looking forward to that, and then also we have some missionary friends who are um, who you're gonna meet on a podcast episode. You meet a podcast episode. Now we're not sure exactly when. We're trying to coordinate scheduling, et cetera, et cetera. But the Whitfields, Jeff and Alma, they are um, missionaries to Greece, and they are in the fundraising portion of their of, of their journey. They're so close. They're very close, and they are um, they are staying not as close to us if they as they've ever stayed currently. So we're thinking about meeting up with them. Mm-hmm. They they do counseling ministry, um, counseling crisis ministry, and so uh, they're with. Greater European Mission, or GEM, as it's called. Yep. And they've have already spent some time in Greece, but are back in the States for a while, um, doing some support raising to go back over. And they're going to be um, professional counselors to refugees and people coming into Greece. Mm-hmm. So that's really neat. Yeah. So um, they both have counseling degrees, and so um, just really sweet people, very, very kind-hearted. Mm-hmm. Um, so what they, their professional services are direly needed really everywhere, but in yeah. particular in those places that are experiencing displaced peoples, people fleeing wars and, and rebellions and that type of thing. Even more so now. You know, there's, you know, three or four years ago it was it was wars in, in northern African countries that was that were 
pushing refugees into into Europe and into Southern Europe. Now, you know, it's it's war in Ukraine that's pushing refugees into Eastern Europe. Um, so, you know, um, I, I listened to a, a really good podcast. Um, what? You just, it's my feedback. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but... Um, I think you can. I just can't stop. Sorry. I'm just scratching myself. Um, you can hear that. Maybe not. You're um, ridiculous. I listened to a good podcast on... With... Oh, I forgot the guy's name. I gotta say the guy's name. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. I gotta say his name. It's the it's 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 the Lex Freeman podcast, but Stephen Kotkin, Kotkin, S Stephen K O T K I N. Um, he is a historian who specializes in Joseph Stalin and Soviet history. And anyway, so he does a it's like a two hour conversation with this guy about how Russia's current actions. And how Russia's current leader compares with Joseph Stalin. You know, the, there are some significant ways they're 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 similar. There are also some really significant ways they're different. Um, it was just fascinating just to hear their historical perspective. You know, history tends to happen in cycles. Nothing, almost nothing that has happened now is is uniquely new. You know, wars have been going on since the beginning of human history. Refugee crises have been have been happening since the beginning of human history. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't do things to stop them, um, or just you know lay back and say, "Well, I guess there's nothing I can do about it." But just understanding the historical context um, can help put it in perspective, uh, and then look at some of the some of the causal relationships between the things that are happening. Some of the so the causal relationships between the things that are going on um, can be pretty enlightening. So, anyway, talking about podcasts in the future, I want to have my parents, or I'm going to say my parents, I'm going to go for both of them, and then we want to have... Um, to create a thing, your parents. Yeah, and we want to have uh, Jeff and Alma Whitfield. And we'll do, we'll do links on how to help support Jeff and Alma. Um, in their in what they're doing and I think after talking to them you guys it'll be pretty obvious that they're very much worth supporting so just a little teaser just a little teaser and then we're going to share some podcasts on the road on our epic road trip mm -hmm. um, we're going to record some podcasts on the road on the road we're probably going to do one um, with our friends Adam and L Lindsay and Wilton and Catherine uh, it may not be all six people, I don't know, but we're going to do one. We're going to try so hard. Live from the campground, from Jellystone Campground, right outside of Dollywood, and in and, and Pigeon Forge, not Gallenberg, sorry. In Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And then Jen and I... Um, we're going to pray we get a podcast with Dolly herself. <laughs> yep. Um, we're going to try. Our girls really like Dolly Parton's music, by the way. Oh, man. What they're song really are they into singing it. tonight? They were singing Jolene. Jolene. They were singing Jolene like they wrote it. I said, Miriam, you know what that song's about? And she said, yeah. And I said, tell me, what's it about? She said, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then Jen started to explain it to her, and I said, no, baby, just, let's just. Let's I didn't just. even start explaining. I was like, well, it's about, <laughs> and then we just dropped it. I said, no, let's just not. We just dropped let's it. Let's just stay ignorant. <laughs> For a little while, please. She's eight. Let's just let's just stay sweet. But coat um, of many colors is her favorite. Right coat now. of many colors. If you don't, if you have not heard the Dolly Parton song "Coat of Many Colors," it's a good one. And look up the version. There's a YouTube video of Dolly going to sing that song um, in an Irish bar, and it is incredible. It's very very good. It's like early early to mid nineties. Um. I'm not even that much of a Dolly Parton fan, honestly. And that's just a good, just a good, unique It's experience. a good video. It's a good song. It's a good memory. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good. Dolly Parton, Code of Many Colors. Our song recommendation for this podcast. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, the girls love her music. but So we'll do one from there. Then we'll probably do one from... 
Mississippi. Mississippi. So that's the thing. How much time we gotta have there, though? Because we're just gonna get in and crash and turn on good the next morning. We hope to see one one thing every place that we're kind of riding through in the morning. Yeah. I think realistically, it'll be Dollywood. Then the next one will be maybe Dallas. We're not gonna stop. Oh, you night. mean for really? podcasts? Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We might not have time for podcast. Um, maybe, maybe Roswell. Probably either Roswell. See, I think we got one from Roswell or Flagstaff. Roswell and Flagstaff. Flagstaff, we can promise one because we'll Flagstaff be there for definitely. a hot minute. Moab will be probably from Moab, and then and in Colorado Springs, we'll be joined by. Our friends, Mark, Mark and Carrie. Mark and Carrie. Uh, Carrie, uh, we did mission work with Carrie. Um, we were in Peru, and then Mark did Mark did mission work with her as well, but that, they met after we had already left. And we actually, the last time we saw Carrie was... Oh man, time is getting away from me. 2018? No, it was... Yeah, yeah, it was 2018 in a barbecue restaurant in Charleston, South Carolina. There you go. A Smoky Oak Tap Room on James Island. You should go. Did we take her to We did. Because she wanted a southern food. And we were like... She specifically wanted, if I can recall, fried okra and barbecue. There and so go. we were like, Smoky Oak Tap Room, let's do it. So, it was fun. She liked it. I, I feel like she came to the conclusion that you can fry anything and it tastes really good. It's very tasty if you fry it. Yeah. Just, just anything. Anything fried probably tastes amazing. <laughs> yep. So, um, and then we're going to come back through We're going to probably, Missouri, we're probably going to do a podcast Kansas. in Kansas. Because yeah, we're going to the Cosmodrome. And I'm, and I'm Cosmosphere. Just gonna be the Cosmosphere. Um, in um, Independence, Kansas? That's in Hutchinson, Kansas. Hutchinson, Kansas. And Kansas. then... We're also going, because Kansas is going to be busy, we're also going to the um, Little House on the Prairie Museum. For all you Laura Ingalls Wilder fans out there, um, we're going to her house in Independence, Kansas. Woohoo! Going to make a stop there. Yep. Um, so we'll probably do one for the Cosmosphere, because I'll just be too excited to not do one there and not talk about that. Uh, we'll, do, we'll definitely do a YouTube video from from Laura's house in Independence. Mm -hmm. And then maybe we'll do one more in St. Louis. It just depends. It depends. Then we're going to end the trip with uh, a couple of days. At the Ark. Well, one day at the Ark Encounter. One day at the Ark Encounter in, what's it, what is it, Kentucky? Williamstown, Kentucky. In Williamstown, Kentucky. Which we've heard is amazing. We haven't mm -hmm. been. We're going, we're coming. Um, but we've had lots of people go there and say it's incredible. Yeah, we're excited. And Kids Go Free this year. So if you were on the fence about going to see the Ark, Kids Go Free. Kids being? Kids being, like 10 and under I or? believe it's under like 12. Verify but, your information. I will verify that information. Just hang on one second. Please give it a Google. But I'm pretty sure it's Kids Go Free. Um, let's double check that. Or you can just check it for me. That, that would be fine, too. Um, let's see. They highly recommend... Okay, kids 10 and under are free. So, by all means, take your older kids. But kids 10 and under are free. It's not that much. For, it's not that much. Even for that, they do have to pay. For just the ARC encounter, which my parents went, and they said you could spend literally a whole day just doing the ARC. It's amazing. Um, tickets are like, I'm looking online right now. It's like, um, ages 11 are like 25 bucks and adult are like $54. Um, they highly recommend that you get your tickets online when you want to go. And, um, yep. Yeah. But if you have lots of kids and they're, you know, if any of them are 10 and under, they're all free. So that would be cool. Um, there's also a creation museum, which I've had friends not do that because they said the ark was pretty um, extensive. And there's a zoo and a massive playground. And anyway, they've just, friends have talked about it and hyped it up. So we're going to go. 
Um, so if you are in the northern Kentucky area or surrounding states and you're like, I think I want to go with the Carters to go see the Ark, let us know and y'all come on. We just invited every single one of them. <laughs> Everybody's invited. Everyone's invited. You, the catch is you just have to meet us in Kentucky, but um, mm-hmm. have your own transportation and accommodations. But if you would like to meet up and pal around the Ark Encounter, we'll be there. You said you. Should, what was that email, David? You should message us at Team Carter Family at Gmail dot com. Family Adventures at Team Gmail. Carter Family oh Adventures. My God. Wait, what did I say? Team Carter. Team Carter Family, Family Adventures, Adventures at Gmail dot com. Or you can look us up on our Facebook page which is Team Carter Carter Family Family Adventures Adventures fan page or you can what is the word that all kids say DM us on Instagram DM us on the Insta hit us up slide into our DMs at Team Carter Family Team Carter Family or you can go to our website teamcarter.team of course nobody's probably going to do that but it but if you're still blogging it's a thing (laughs) that's a real thing all right. Well, so we gave you a little teaser of what's coming up. Um, we appreciate you guys sticking with us to this point. If you've made it to this point in the podcast, you've made it to the super secret post credit sequence. Um, your your bonus content for making it this far is what, Jen? What do they get? Um, I don't even know. I was gonna. I was my little nugget of wisdom at the end was don't spend all your precious money on um, AliExpress. Go forth and try not to spend money on AliExpress. How about that? Jen thinks I'm going to spend all my money on AliExpress. I'm not going to do that. Right. It's not going to happen. We only invested $2.48, so mm-hmm. there you go. Mm-hmm. It's true. But maybe you should try it for yourself if you think we're crazy and you want to try it for yourself. Yeah, go for it. Go and let for us know it. how it goes. Let us know how that goes. And we'll learn from your mistakes instead of having to make them ourselves. <laughs> I love you guys. Peace. Thank you for listening. Good night.